What's up YouTube, back with another video and today I wanted to just review uh, a new bike rack that I have and um, it took me a while to buy this one just because of the prices uh, that have went up when it comes to everything but of course bike racks are, are, are no exception. So now I went with the Kuat Transfer uh, V2 uh, hitch mounted bike rack and um, the thing that I like about this particular one is one is the price point basically does the same thing what the Thule did not as high quality as the Thule was I mean the Thule was a very heavy duty piece of equipment um, this one is too but nowhere near as heavy duty and nowhere near as heavy and that's one thing that I like um, as far as the weight goes but uh, it's still a very durable bike rack now this is my suggestion for anyone that's looking at bike racks before I actually go into the review of this product because a lot of you are probably doing your research you're going on Amazon you're going to different websites you're going to sporting goods stores here's the thing um, you can get a cheap bike rack off Amazon like the Allen brand you know for next to nothing but over time you are going to want to upgrade your bike rack uh, I started off with the Allen, you know, one of the cheaper ones. I think it was a four mounted bike rack that you put on the hitch. You know, it was the one that kind of just, you know, it opens up and then you put, you got like four different sections where you can put your bikes. Um, work well in the beginning, but then after a while, you know, you, you start to realize that it's really not the best option. A lot of times the bikes are hitting each other, they're scratching each other up. Um, it's still a little wobbly, you know, in some places when it comes to those, those, those racks. And they're just not um, as good as quality. You know, if you if they get rained on a good number of times, you're going to start seeing rust. Uh, but I mean, if you take it off every single time and you, you know, keep it garaged and, and clean, then you should be okay with it. But overall, they're just not that great when it comes to bike racks. But for starters, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not hating on anybody that starts off with one of those. But eventually, you're going to realize you need something a little bit more quality and better. And that's when you're going to start getting into you know the names like Thule, uh what is it the, is it one up i think is a brand um you know the one that i'm getting ready to review uh i mean you're going to see a lot of different uh name brands that are out there that will have decent reviews but just make sure you read the reviews carefully and what people are saying make sure you check your vehicle to make sure that it fits make sure you check your hitch size to see if you have a two inch hitch or a one inch hitch or you know to, to see all the details of what you need to know before you order your bike rack okay so here is the uh, the actual bike rack itself I just keep it on the shelf until I install it this is the v2 two bike hitch bike rack and I can add a third component to make it a three bike uh, bike rack if I want to uh, checking on Amazon prices right now this is going for four hundred and thirteen dollars plus tax so you're looking at probably almost what almost 450 uh, I paid 370 for it while it was on sale now um, it does have some some weight to it so I just wanted to let you guys know you are gonna you know it's gonna take two hands to install this thing I have the two inch hitch uh, on my Jeep so that's the one that I bought and um, and I'll go over some uh, some good locks uh, for this as well guys so I'm going to show you how to install this thing ah. it's pretty simple I'm going to put it in where the hole would normally be which is right there and yeah so this is how far this particular rack would normally stick out so you can see if I had the spare tire on there there's no way that this could reach absolutely no way so it had to come off um, anyway the cool thing about this particular uh, bike rack is of course it can fold up hit the little foot thing pull it down it locks into place clicks and just folds down perfectly uh, again this is for two bike racks uh, two bikes I'm sorry um, I didn't pin it in yet so that's why it's moving but if it was pinned in it wouldn't move at all but um, of course you just fold these guys up 
and then when you put put your bikes in i mean you pretty much know how these work you got your uh tires that go into these uh little compartments right here um you have one on this side then you have the smaller ones and these are your straps to strap in the tire once it's in and i can put my bike on there but I really don't have to but if you want to i can So yeah, basically, I mean, this is, these bike racks are self-explanatory. You guys have seen them. Uh, many companies make very similar ones, uh, very similar to the Thule one that I had as well. You put the bike in. Um, I will have additional straps to strap in the tire, even though uh, it only comes with this like plastic one that you strap on around the wheel. Um, I have additional Velcro straps that I use to strap in the other tires as well. Uh, of course, this goes on top of the uh, front tire to hold it down, and it's just adjustable. You can go up and down with it. It's pretty simple, and then it locks into place. Uh, it does come with cable locks as well. I mean, you actually see where you have the key there to, to lock it in. Um, it does come with a basic bolt uh, for the uh, hitch, but let me show you what I bought. So it basically comes with your basic um, hitch lock that you can, you know, maneuver in uh, inside of the holes to lock it in place. And I mean, those are cool, uh, but I just wanted to get something a little bit more secure. So I went with this one. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but it's uh, by Bolt. And this particular model is for uh, newer Jeeps. And basically, the way these work is uh, you use your actual Jeep or car key. Of course, in this instance, it'd be my Jeep, but your car key to unlock it. And it goes into the lock and bolts on. So I'm just going to give you an example real quick of, you know, how it works. So this is my Jeep key. Get stuck in there sometimes. Um, turn it as you can see and this comes out so the cool thing is is I can now put it in there um, and uh, it will lock into place so let me just kind of show you what I mean up in there yeah so I can just put it in this one and oh yeah it's locked in there already so yeah this isn't going anywhere from my understanding it's supposed to work directly with your key it memorizes the actual cutout of your individual key um, so I think that's that's pretty cool uh, for it to do that the thing is though is once you program it that's it you can't program it with any other car any other vehicle it's pretty much a wrap uh, at that point in time these were the uh, additional straps that I was talking about that I just used but let me put the bike on for you and show you how it looks And as you can see, it just fits right in the cradle. So 
this is it guys it's 30 as can be and then you can use the additional straps or whatever you know to put those around the front of the bike but yeah it's locked in at that point in time um, again great rack great quality great price um, and it's it's quality it's quality quality rack so yeah, just wanted to do a quick review of that. Um, again, if you do have a Jeep JL, you're going to have to take the tire off for this rack. But I think you can't beat it for the price, guys. So um, yeah, get one if you can. Definitely try to find one on sale. Again, this is the holidays. Black Friday is coming up. So I don't think it'll take long before you can uh, you know, find one to go on sale. So all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Check you in the next video. Peace.